Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to be doing more what's inside. We're going to go to the man bear pig house and find out exactly what's going inside of this crazy building in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I have shown this off in a previous episode, and we're going to show off the one room that we can actually access without glitching into the rest of the house. But I am curious to see if there's anything else crazy in the rest of this building, because it does show up on the minimap as having other rooms, but we can't access it. So today I'm going to show you exactly where we're going, what's in there, and we're going to find out if there's anything else inside of this house besides just that. So... There's also a couple houses in Butcher's Creek that I want to get into. There's a lot of houses in this game that I want to get into. So this is going to be a whole series called What's Inside. And um, probably going to be doing this every day until it's glitched. Along with, obviously, the other series that we got going on. The secrets and just trying to break the game and stuff. So we got so much to do in this game. Just imagine if we get a DLC. Just all the crazy things we'll be able to do and find. But I hope you all enjoy this and... If there's anything in particular that you want to see me break into and explore in this game, let me know in the comments below. Send me a tweet with a picture, like with a building pinned on the map, and I can go check it out. Or message me on Discord. Any of those will suffice. And I love to see your guys' comments and interact with the community. So definitely make sure to chat it up. I read every single comment, believe it or not. Do not comment that I did not read your comment because I will not comment on it, and I will not like, I will dislike it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this going. Man, why does... Uh, stupid Murphy brood. Why does every time I sleep here... You know what? I'm going to torture your ass. That's what you get. I know there's going to be two more of you, but I'm going to make your friends watch you explode. Well, we're going to capture all of these guys. We're going to blow them up all at once. I know this doesn't have anything necessarily to do with what we're trying to get done now let's see here let's uh do we have a, a lantern tiny pecker fool. whoa you just call me a tiny pecker fool why are you staring at my pp like that man telling everybody the betrayal is real man i thought that was a secret Shoot. i didn't want to eat beets anyways that actually worked out uh, <laughs> oh he picked it up anyways where's your friends huh I know they want to explode, too. Oh, I don't have any dynamite. Oh, we can change that. We could change that. We get, just going to activate a cheat. I don't even care anymore. It's not like we're going to save after this. We are just doing a uh, little exploratory mission. Infinite ammunition, baby. Where's your friends? You know, I love explosions. If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you guys know explosions are my thing. It's like the trademark of my channel, the dynamite enema. We're going to have to... I'm, I'm, there's supposed to be two more of these dudes that come rolling in. But maybe not this time. Maybe not. All right. I see how it is. Changing things up on me. Now we want to place this dynamite right on this guy's head. Hopefully he won't escape before we place all the dynamite, though. What I like to do is I like to place, like... If I use the infinite ammo cheat, like, place, like, 30 or 40 sticks of dynamite. Because that makes a gloriously huge explosion. It's pretty much the best thing ever. I can't believe the rest the rest of them knew better. Like, they, they captured his ass? Oh, that tiny pecker is gonna die. All right, that's enough dynamite for now. So this, this episode isn't supposed to be about explosions. Although it should be. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh I'm still super sick. But explosions still make me super duper happy. Now, if you didn't watch the previous episode of this, uh, what we did is we broke into the taxidermist house, which is just north of Strawberry. And inside that house, it is insanely awesome. You can technically get inside the house in a cutscene if you complete the taxidermist quest, but it doesn't really let you explore. But since we were able to broke in, we got to explore the entire house. And let me say, it is amazing inside. So if you haven't checked that episode out, definitely make sure to. I'll leave a link in the description as well as in the uh, chat or the, the comments. But feel free to check that out. This whole series is going to be freaking awesome. Now, in this particular house, you can get into the upstairs by sneaking in through this window. 
And this is this is creepy. This place is terrifying. Like, this is like the taxidermist, but she's lost her freaking mind. This is actually probably the taxidermist side hobby, is what it is. It's her side hustle. Making mutant creatures. Now there is a lot of things in here that we could check out. Now, I don't think this says anything. This says boar and uh, human. So this, they're trying to mix like a boar and a human together. The really crazy part is that she's got this table where clear... Well, I don't know if it's a he or a she. It's got this table. Oh, there's a foot down there. Oh, no. I never even noticed that before. What is a foot of? Oh, it looks like it might be a horse or something. But it's almost like... It's anticipating it coming alive or something. Or it's just strapping it down so it doesn't move when it's cutting pieces apart. Well, there's all sorts of crazy things to read in here. A lot of these I've picked up before in the past. Uh, so there'll be some missing here. But just look at this creepy ass place. Pig's head and formaldehyde. That looks like some kind of... I don't even know. Like a... Maybe a fox with its head cut off? Or a baby pig, anatomy of the lower leg. Just all sorts of crazy experiments in here. Somebody's lost their damn mind. Absolutely ridiculous. Now there's another letter here. Which we can investigate. This is a bear heart. 22 ounces. Now, this door here is what we want to try and glitch through. So you can see that there's probably stairs on the other side of this. Now to do this... I showcased in another video. We need to take out a lantern. And then we need to take out a handgun. And then we need to aim this straight down at the ground and walk up to a door that we want to try and glitch through. And when we hit it, go into first... Oh. That, in fact, does not look safe to glitch into whatsoever. Oh, are we already inside of it? Oh, oh, can we back up? I don't... I regret... <laughs> I regret many things. I regret everything. Oh, God. Oh, I could walk inside of this? Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I broke the game. <laughs> this should be a screenshot. I, I broke the game. Oh, my God. I wonder if I can technically still, like, walk around and, like, find the downstairs of this. This is crazy. Like, I can't even see the rest of the game from here. Whoa. So I wonder if this is going to happen with a lot of the buildings I try and step into. The strange thing is, is that it doesn't even register that the rest of the game exists. I need to get a screenshot of this. Well, if anything, oh, it's getting super foggy in here. I'm committed to my mistakes, if anything. Um, There's definitely sounds of floor here, which is... Even stranger. Oh. Maybe if we try and go in from the downstairs, there'll be something. Okay, so I can't get over that way, but maybe... Maybe there's something actually downstairs. Can I... Oh, I just hit something. That's... This is so weird. Okay, let's, let's try and glitch back through now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This one was a lot easier to glitch through than, than a lot of the, the other ones that I've tried to do this with. Oh. 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 Okay. I really broke the game now. <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. Oh. What the crap? Oh, this is so weird. When you go in the first person, it loads everything back in. What? But then this room disappears. That's so... This is... I like this. It might not be the the most interesting thing. I, I think I'm stuck in here now. Oh, we did it! No, we didn't. We almost had it. <laughs> it's so broke. Oh, jump, John! You can do it. You might not be able to swim, but maybe you can jump to safety. I'm stuck in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Let's see if I can just glitch through. Because you can glitch through, like, any walls, too. 
So let's let's walk back up to the wall and try and jump through. It's gonna take a second to get out of here. So I legitimately got stuck in there. I had to restart the game. Or not restart the game, but I had to reload my previous save to get back. Now I'm wondering if maybe we do this down here. If anything will be in here. I have a feeling it's going to be very similar. Because I didn't expect anybody to ever make it into here. So I expect it to be... Oh. Oh, yep. Okay. We made it. Hey, we can actually see around it this time, though. Oh, I'm stuck on something. So they didn't actually put anything down here. Which makes me sad. But I wonder if there's any other buildings that we've gotten, like, cutscenes into, but didn't necessarily get to explore that might be worth glitching into. Or maybe other houses. I know a couple that we definitely want to get into. Uh, like Emerald Ranch and some stuff in Van Horn. Because we can see things inside of them, but we can't get into them. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. It was fun. I like this. I mean, it was definitely weird when we walked in through the upstairs and then the whole world just disappeared. Can I at least get out this time? And we got to blow up some Murphy Broods, so, like, it's a win-win situation here. Nobody lost in this episode. Our curiosities have been satiated, and uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below which buildings you would like to see me glitch into next. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to show your support and fondle that like button. We glitched out too. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.